Today is a video all about a Roblox thing, uh, an update that they're pushing, which uh, we kind of have needed for a long time. Up until today, we had to use third-party things like Roblox Viz tools made by Mr. Chicken Rocket, um, but I believe he has open-sourced those, and he may or may not be working with Roblox to make this a thing, who knows. That doesn't really matter though, What? what is it? What are we doing here? And how is it already an issue for me? So we have this guy's um, scalable, lightweight, interactive models or slim. So Roblox introducing slim. This is going to make it so meshes closer to your camera are fully detailed and the ones further away are less detailed or slimmed down. So right now this is in the beta features and you can enable it if you would like to use it. Uh, I think it still needs a bit of work because if we go into studio and we'll just go to these wheels, for example, this is how it looks in studio. Um, and their render fidelity is set to automatic, which is how I normally keep my meshes. But when you set it to precise, it will look how it does in Blender. However, that's very unoptimized. But even though they look like this in studio, if you go in game, they look fine. So. I mean, I don't know exactly what's going on with it. It is a beta feature after all, so maybe they're still working on some of the bugs, but yikes, that, that part's a yikes from me. But the update itself is a massive W, especially when it gets done. So they say we're excited to announce scalable, lightweight, interactive models or slim. It's now available in studio beta. For experiences with instance streaming, enable slim, smartly composites and creates LODs, which is level of detail for streamed out models in your experience experience allowing you complete freedom to create more detailed and expansive worlds slim will eventually be replacing the existing model lod system create higher fidelity models at a comparable performance this is insane we look at the bigger games on roblox like jailbreak and the things that they've had to do to try to make their game run smoother in fact, let's jump into it. Now, before um, I kind of get into jailbreak, I do just gotta say, these devs are some of the smartest when it comes to optimization, just from the outside looking in. Like even this, where I spawn at, could be Roblox parts for steps, but instead, just a texture on top. If we look at some of this stuff even, this is a decal on one Roblox part for all of these lines instead of using a bunch of parts. Now this gets so much more crazy and I've showed people this kind of stuff and they're like, oh, it's just jailbreak style, which it is, but it also has so much to do with optimization. I don't know when they made that helicopter cost money. I thought I used to be able to just fly it around, but I guess I can't now. So I'll take this car. Right here we have another example. This fence is a decal, or a texture I mean. Just very optimized. But all of that stuff is pretty normal in most games. Oh my gosh, there's a whole battle going on right here. Jeez. I don't want no part in that. But things in Jailbreak that stand out to me, that are like, whoa, in any other game they would look disgustingly ugly, uh, the trees, and this is this is no hate to jailbreak by the way, but their trees are legit just cones on blocks or a sphere on a block. Very classic Roblox, but they fit in the game very nicely. These fences are just a texture. The train tracks in this game, once again, just a texture, but here's the big one. The game used to be all terrain, and now instead of using Roblox terrain, they have switched to like these low poly mesh variants of the terrain and they do this everywhere whether it's grassy desert like it's all over the map i'm almost curious if this slim update is going to help with roblox terrain because that is the most unoptimized thing about the game i'm working on and i'm sure a bunch of other people who try to use roblox terrain in their games uh, it's just very unoptimized. But Jailbreak, what they did was they mixed it with low poly terrain as well. All of this stuff, I'm stuck, all of this stuff could have been terrain, but it's so much more optimized for it not to be. Don't do it to me, man. Just leave me alone. <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say is some of the biggest games on Roblox, I'm gonna have to do it. How's he got a dog? I can't tase the dog. You know what? You know what? I'm leaving. I guess what I'm trying to say is some of the biggest games on Roblox have made some pretty crazy sacrifices to try to get their games playable on mobile devices. 
like very low poly trees or using low poly hills instead of Roblox terrain. These are a huge hit to a game's aesthetic, but a huge gain to their performance. Hopefully with this slim, uh, which thank you for giving it an easy acronym to say so I don't have to like sound it out. <laughs> but hopefully with this, games will start being able to use a lot higher quality stuff and still be able to be played on these lower end devices. Now, I'm not going to read through the entirety of this article, but I will have it linked in the description for you guys to be able to. I don't know why these are so small, so I will zoom in in editing. But look at this. I believe this is currently how Roblox does it, and this is how Roblox is going to be doing it now after this beta feature gets fully rolled out. So much better. And to do this, like I said earlier, to do this before this update, you had to use stuff like Roblox Viz Tool and create the level of details um, separate from the building. So if I wanted this building to turn into a block with a blue texture on it, when it was loaded out, I would have to create that level of detail and then tag the model. And there was just a bunch of hoops you had to jump through. Now it looks like we're just, we're just getting blessed, honestly. However, um, the, the, just the biggest thing about this update so far is it's messing up the in-studio viewports. Developer relations have reached out to me about this already. Um, and I'm hoping that they can kind of get it fixed. But like all of my stuff, look at my tires, bro. Look at my tires. And these are set to automatic. Now you have to set to precise for them to look good in studio. I'm really hoping they fix that. If they don't, uh, this could be a killer instead of a W. But I just wanted to kind of go over that feature with you guys and let you know it exists now. Or at least it's about to exist once the beta feature is uh, sort of published to, to the full platform, I guess. But that will wrap it up for today. If you did enjoy and want to see more content like this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.